So yeah, political power. We want these two. Probably want that one because it's free guns. And that one. We don't really care about this one. So let's do the Jiangnan loans. Yeah, let's do that one. The AOG has been hit hard by Black Monday and has been unable to pay the rent on many of the concessions to us. This is unacceptable. But right now, there is nothing we can do as we depend upon their support. The Jingnan Consortium has been somewhat isolated from the crisis and have offered us loans, which should help us, which we should take in order to finance our armies and our government. Oh, we do as well. Positive stability. Huzzah! See, we're winning already. Everything's fine. And now we can also reduce what the orange are doing. Sorry, what the blues are doing, because the oranges are arriving in significant numbers. So the blues are going to be responsible for this side. A sense of direction. Although the investigation into Sun's death is independent from our government, it may be the best to give the investigator initial speculations and opinions on what occurred that day. This will assist a gate. This will inst I'm reading assist and investigation together. Assistigate. This will assist the investigation and allow us to keep some sort of control over the findings on it. However, the investigator may simply ignore our initial direction, but it may lead may at least sway them slightly. So we can say it's the Ying Dao agent, which it isn't, because we're not actually at war with the Ying Dao, that would have been Shangdong. Kuomintang agent, which is likely, considering we're currently fighting against the Kuomintang down here. And they rose up suspiciously soon after uh Sun died. A friend of Sun's. I doubt it's one of his friends. Why would they kill him? An agent of Chen, which is possible, although I think Chen was just an opportunist. And then a woman who uh, seeks revenge. I mean, saying it's a, a woman who's seeking revenge against him is kind of calling into question his character, so I'm going to say it's a Kuomintang. They had the most to gain. Is a sister gate some kind of assist water gate? <laughs> Possibly. Unfortunately, the AI has done a pretty good job of just stymieing our attempts to uh, bypass them. Because in the same way that I'm blocking all of their troops, they're blocking all of mine. Uh, except I can block you. Let's do that. Oh, we broke through. Good. Um, you stay here. Okay, well this is certainly taking a while, so we should hopefully finish off the uh, Jiangnan loans without too many issues. <laughs> Shandong suspiciously on my border, but thankfully we didn't have to deal with them. Look at how much of a difference this made. Famine breaks out in Sichuan. The province of Sichuan has long struggled with famine. Rocky terrain and unpredictable weather kept populations low until the early Qing era when widespread land clearances and immigration incentives brought hordes of peasants to the province. In 1925, a lengthy drought turned into a devastating famine that ravaged the province, leading to hundreds of thousands of deaths and millions of refugees. Now, with chaos in the league disrupting food shipments and another lengthy drought in the spectre of the famine haunts Sichuan once more. Already horrifying stories are emerging of mothers selling their children into slavery for scraps of bread. Hey, it's just good business. And anarchy gripping even the richest market towns. This year just keeps on getting worse. <laughs> At least they're chicken. How goes the war? Slowly. But it's going. No assist in attacking them. Ah, cut off. Lovely. That's just the type of thing I've been looking for. Need to keep an eye on you. You might try and exploit that. Seeing as there is a bit of a gap there now. I'm just going to save this real quick because I want to actually be able to access the uh, war information. Just going to do a quick save reload. So what's new about China in the new update? Everything. 
And there we go. Now I can see it. Both sides have lost a thousand. I have 17 factories to their one, and we outnumber them two to one as well. Cool. And we have plenty of guns, so we could also start training a couple more of these. Let's start it going. These two are about to be freed, and you just pinned me. Nice move, nice move. Oh, they got some volunteers from Baratia. Right, because they got the um, the port. It does say if they manage to get uh, access to the sea, then they will get support from others. Which I think is why this is a bit more difficult than it was the first time around. Because they must be getting Lend-Lease. Yep. Oh no, just volunteers. Hey stream, but gotta go. Night Mordred. See you, Crystal. me an opportunity here and I can now go after Long Yan, but <laughs> do I want to? I think I can speed things up a bit now. German Ostasia, what are they doing here? Have they sent me volunteers? I didn't think they did. Fastest way to check would be this. Lend lease. Independence guaranteed. Military access. No, they're just a military access. Which I thought was something I had to give them. Oh, do I want to take their capital and end this? It's right there. It's open. Also, the other thing is, the longer this war lasts, the more um, army experience I can regain. And there is a bit of time between now and future events. No, I'm going to let them reinforce it because abandoning these two provinces will also allow me to cut off Xiamen. Which also means killing Baratia's troops, which is definitely an advantage to us. Oh, I don't like the fact that you keep moving away. Six. They've now lost 2,000, but then again, so have we. Oh, they've abandoned it again. Alright, fine. Should have jumped away. Ninety-eight. Jengnan loans are done. So we can now get the price controls. I don't want to do this one. This is just switching a civilian factory for a military, which right now is not very helpful. Let's do Chi Central Command. Gets us some more stability back. The disorganized, decentralized nature of the current governor. Armies on which we rely is not sufficient for the current conflict. We need to make an effort to establish a unified central command. The governors will retain their authority, but important decisions will now be made in coordination instead of separation. Annie Kenny elected as the chairman of the TUC. 1936 Trade Union Congress in the Union of Britain was made out to be decisive. Oh, nuts. We're going to go and open up over here again. Can you block him? You can. And you need to move here to provide assistance. But we did destroy that army, which is great. Now you can come across here. There 
They're almost dead. Oh, this is so tempting. Oh, he's moving in. Uh, head over there quickly. Oh, he changed his mind. Go and take Guangzhou. Cut off this as well. He's now lost 14,000. Some of his units are really big. I'm doing everything I can to not take their capital, even though they keep on leaving it exposed. The report is almost complete. Finally, after many weeks of investigation, the report of the Sun investigation is almost complete. Although we gave an initial sense of direction, the investigation has stayed relatively independent of direct interference. Is there a reason they keep abandoning their capital? Is the AI being the AI? The AI is unfortunately just being the AI. There really isn't any reason for it. So they should be next. We're actually struggling a little against them, but there are four divisions in there, so it's not that surprising. I want to just go and carve all of this up. Off we go. Alright, speed for this. The woman wanted revenge. The investigators have concluded the woman who assassinated Sun Chun Fang was doing it out of revenge. According to the report, no real political connections were found with the woman. However, multiple people in her family were killed in the wars led by Sun. The report concludes the woman was thus acting for revenge for her family. Didn't change. So no, that does not seem to be somewhat random. G Central Command. Done. Enforce Officer Loyalty doesn't get me anything. That doesn't get me anything. So we could go for the OG gun shipment to get another 750 guns. Which isn't amazing. These... No, just this one. Price controls. With the collapse of the LEP, our money notes have become nearly worthless and inflation is rising at a breakneck space. While price controls are not an ideal solution, we must make sure there is at least a temporary stop to the devaluations in order to properly pay our soldiers. It will hopefully also calm the countryside and put a halt to rising food prices, at least for the time being. Yeah, if I win the war, then this whole part of the focus tree just ends. And I don't get all the uh, free political power which is over there. Which is what I am currently aiming for. Did they just spawn there? They're still spawning soldiers. They totally did, didn't they? Well, I guess that alone is a reason to end this. unit killed. 25,000 losses on their side now. Remember, Mordred, if you don't do this for good business, then do it for Billy! Mordred, quit playing with your food and just finish him. I don't wanna! Good. 
Superior firepower complete. Well, let's start on delay then. I need to go and attack them. Yes, you do. Otherwise, they'll try and cut me off here, which would be bad. So once we have price controls, that is the last 50%, isn't it? At which point I can take Long Yang and finish this. And Nanping. A Russian Republic declared war on the Soviet Russia. So last time the Soviets just outright took over Russia. This time there's actually a civil war. Just 20 years ago, in the last years of the World Creek, the Russian Empire collapsed, ripped apart by nationalist movements and divided between the Whites and the Reds. After a German intervention, the Republican government defeated the Bolsheviks and it appears the Russian revolutionary spirit was not extinguished. No longer getting the effects of AIM South, so we're not hitting them as hard anymore. Although, was that just the defensive bonus, or all of them? Nope, that was all of them. Okay. Price controls, finished. So that is all of the public order bonuses. May as well start working on the guns, but now is the time to finish this. Where the hell did you come from? They are definitely spawning soldiers. Billy! We have gotten a good amount of army experience and we are still gaining quite a lot. Siam's new constitution. King Praja Hippok of Siam officially published the first constitution from the centuries-old kingdom of Southeast Asia. Drawing inspiration from the Meiji-era Japanese constitution, the government of Germany, it empowers the king and the common people above the powerful royal family, who have exerted a great deal of control over his majesty. Concerned about you losing. And you. And this our uh, unit in Yong Ran is quite strong. If they win this, then they can get out of here. Oh, no, they can't, because Xian Men's actually still under attack. I don't know why this Barata Yu unit is counting as somewhere else. Nineteen thirty-six still, so let's go and get basic machine tools. Although I do also need to upgrade the guns at some point. Because we're using the old ones still. We're about to destroy them. Then probably that one, then probably that one. Maybe Yong Long Yan first. Has that field marshal ever slept his portrait would make me guess no. Yeah, Falkenhausen is definitely looking a little bit tired. AOG gun shipments completed. Oh, we just got a bunch of free guns. Cool. Well, in that case, we may as well start working on these again. So let's get the unified command headquarters for the building slots in the military factory. While we established a temporary central command in Qi's authority during the war, establishing a unified command headquarters will help to further unify the divided forces of our governors. The unified headquarters will make sure decisions are made in coordination and under more direct control of Qi. Union Syndicalista achieves Italian majority. The Fifth Congress of the Socialist Republic of Italy has ended the Union Syndicalista led by Palmiro Togliatti, continuing its mandate by achieving a majority in the seat of government. 
Very nice, very nice. See you, Shadowhawk. Ah, three new units. Excellent. Deploy. Really? And we'll assign them to you. So we'll have you attacking here first. Manuel Carles assumes full control of Argentina. When Manuel Carles executed a coup against the Argentinian state on Christmas 1935, the nation was torn apart in a vicious struggle for control over the presidency. But will this stabilize Argentina? We are completely eradicating this rebellion. We're not just defeating it, we are eradicating it. Can reform the army at 100. I think it's 150 for the first tick. Yeah, it is. Whoa, no, do not let them recover. That would be bad. Another free unit. Okay. Cheaters. This guy's not even in the fight, he's regaining his organization. And there it is. Left Kuomintang, done. Ha, ah, good. So let's send you to go and reinforce Nanjing. And then we'll have you down here in the south. Just make sure that these areas stay under our control. This is like the heartland. Let's also save here. Now watch as Shandong declares war on us. Nanjing lives on. After many months of fighting, we have finally been able to crush the enemies that oppose us. Traitors, Kuomintang and Ying Danao. Ying Undao. All have been crushed by the Iron Fist of Qi Jinyuan. However, his leadership is still not secure. Though the Kuomintang have been beaten in the field, reports have come back stating they will continue to fight a guerrilla war against us. The Yang Dao seem to have issued a similar statement. Also, as proven by Cheng's betrayal, even those who claim to be loyal to us may be waiting to betray us. We must remain diligent. Remove national spirit, questionable authority, remove spirit, rampant disorder. However, we have now become chaotic order. Shouldn't exist. What does chaotic order mean? And here we go. This is how we suppress their activities. And now we have access to the government by coercion, which is basically the bulk of our tree. And we need to get down to these two. And this is when we can tell if this is actually bugged, or if it was the mod that was bugging it. We can also take a look at the post-collapse reconstruction. With the war having lasted so long and tens of thousands of troops dead, and even more civilians, the land is in ruins. A massive reconstruction effort must be done to recover Nanjing. So we're definitely going to invest in the armament industry. Um, that's a factory, so we're going to do the new industrial investments. 
and the other ones are just modifiers. We need to be careful because we need to keep at least 50 political power to pay these two down when they become active. Is it true if you attack the Legation Cities, the entire world comes to their defense? Pretty much. The Legation Cities are a treaty organization, so they are guaranteed by basically all of the great powers of the world. Japan, Germany, America, German, East Asia, Austria, Australasia, and Flanders. Basically, anyone that they pay protects them. Hey, Kyoko. Okay, so... Definitely pleased with how that went. Unified Command Headquarters is finished, so now we can go towards the government by coercion. We now rule the League, and we must, at all costs, prevent its renewed collapse. We will not make the same mistakes as Chun Shang Fang made. Instead, we will build a strong government, based not on weakness, but on strength. We will not shy away from harsh methods in order to guarantee its survival. <clears throat> so we're going to do that. We are also going to make the rightful Field Marshal the Field Marshal, which is Tang Enbo. Benefiting as he is from the frontline experience that he gained during the war. And then the other general is going to be Zhang Yunyan. This is so good, I've got both of the uh, good commanders. Neither of them died this time. Raiding party! Hey, Shenri! Hello! Welcome to all of Shen's viewers. Hello, hello, hello. One of us, one of us! But I am not playing as... Crikey, who were you playing as? I know you were on the East Coast. Were you Kuomintang? Tang? You might have been. Poland elects a new king. For almost two decades, the Polish throne has remained empty. After the end of the Welsh Creek, a Regency Council was convened to elect the new Polish king. However, constant interference and ineptitude has prevented the council from selecting a king for all of these years. Left KMT. Ah, oh, you arrived about two minutes too late because they just died. <laughs> we killed them. We're playing as the rightful rulers of this land. The nation once known as the Eight Provinces, now the Nanjing Clique, and soon to be known again as the League of Five Provinces. Because there's less of us now, seeing as Hunan and Lingguan have both split away. Von Ragnar and Dante Barracuda. Thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. New Kaiserreich, yep, this is the new one. That's a good question, did you have managed to recover that war? Yes, but it's not over. And also, yeah, Shen, uh... Fentian government, here. Guaranteed. Independence of Fentian government's guaranteed by other nations, Japan. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. They're not in a faction. I'll keep an eye on that. If they join a faction, then I'll see if that's still possible. But I know that there is a special relationship between Japan and Fentiang. How many troops does Qing have? Qing has got... Uh, 30-ish. So Qing is still definitely stronger than we are. We're 30 days away from needing to suppress again, so we'll just hold off on that. Yes, Doc Reaver, you did get gifted a sub earlier. Ooh, we have the Kaiser with us. The Kaiser GG, thank you very much for the follow. An ancient gamer. Welcome to the channel. Good to see you. 